Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. Today we have a Hangster certified vehicle to present to you. It is a 1969 Mercury Cougar. So let's check it out. Um, the car has a 351. Uh, you can't really see it, but mounted back there on the driver's side firewall is your power brake booster because the vehicle is equipped with power brakes. Um, there is a power steering reservoir there. You see the little dipstick for it right next to the valve cover. So the car is equipped with power steering. And the reason you can't see the power steering uh, reservoir too well is because on top of it is your AC compressor. The car does have working AC. Pretty awesome, right? Power steering, power brake, working AC. Uh, great color combination on this car. <clears throat> Let's check it out. It has hideaway headlights and those work too. Let's check out the paint at the top of the fenders and the hood. Uh, the paint, uh, driver quality paint, as always on our cars. A pretty nice paint throughout the entire vehicle. We will show you a few imperfections in it, such as like a little chip right here on the driver's side front fender. And there's another one. If we can jump over to the passenger side of the hood, all the way at the top, you can see the hood must have hit once or twice, so there's a little chip right there. Um, other than that, the paint looks pretty good on the uh, hood, on the top of the fenders. Uh, there's no uh, clear coat fade, there's no blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything like that. Uh, the hideaway headlights do function. We will show you that in the uh, video presentation uh, when we do the engine run. <clears throat> now the uh, uh, bumper chrome on the front, in pretty good condition. No uh, chrome peel, no rust around the bumper bolts, anything like that going on. Your uh, Cougar badge here looks good on the uh, driver's side front fender. Stepping around to the driver's side of the car, a couple different things. Uh, first of all, it is a black pinstripe that starts on the uh, front fender, continues down the driver door and all the way down the uh, rear quarter of the vehicle. Uh, great color combo, my favorite color combination, black and silver. Uh, so the black vinyl top, silver drip rails, black pinstriping, all uh, real, real awesome on this car. So the front fender, uh, the paint, real nice. There's no blistering around the uh, wheel opening there. You can see uh, raised white letter BFG tires on the car. Those are in good condition. We'll take a look at those when it's up on the rack. Uh, chrome uh, Cougar wheels look good. Uh, the chrome looks good, no uh, pitting or, or rusting. Uh, there are a few chips here on the driver door. Okay, so be aware of those. Uh, before we continue down the side of the car, let's jump up top here and take a look at our glass clarity as well as our uh, vinyl top. Uh, front windshield in good shape, uh, no cracks, no chips. Uh, the vinyl top, uh, I'll show you all the problematic areas on a vinyl top car. Uh, one is above the front windshield, so this is nice and solid, there's no uh, rust bubbles. Uh, another area is around the drip rail moldings. And this car is good. Uh, there's no issues up top. You can see it's nice and uh, uniform and flat and uh, looks good. And then another area is where the uh, vinyl top, uh, the roof drop down meets the rear quarter. And there's no issues on this car there. Once again, a, a great color combination in my opinion on this car. I really like uh, the color combo. Uh, very cool body line on our 69 Cougar, how it kind of swoops down uh, from the front fender to the rear quarter uh, across the driver's door. Cool uh, body line, looks good. Um, no paint issues on the bottom of the uh, driver door. Uh, so, so far on the paint, I've po pointed out, you know, a couple paint chips or whatever, but the important part is down low on the rockers and on the driver door and on the rear quarters, you don't have any uh, Bondo blistering or, or filler popping or anything like that. It's all nice and solid up and underneath uh, there on our 69 Cougar. Also, notice the door fitment, you know, the body line. See how the body line on the driver door meets the rear quarter just like it should, meets the front fender just like it should? It's a good looking, uh, good looking vehicle. Uh, dual chrome mirrors on the car, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. And then the uh, glass clarity is fantastic. Uh, on the driver door glass and on the quarter glass. Let's take a look inside. Door panel. Uh, driver's door panel looks good. The uh, leather's not ripped. Uh, the uh, armrest is not cracked. Take a look in the uh, back seat here. 
There we go. Okay, so the uh, rear seat, uh, real nice shape. Uh, no uh, tears, no rips. Uh, seat back's in good condition. The uh, driver's side seat, uh, no issues with it. No rips or tears. The uh, carpeting's in nice condition. You can see underneath the uh, floor mat on the driver's side. No uh, rips or tears or discoloration of any kind. Uh, does have an aftermarket steering wheel on it. Uh, it could have been like, uh, you know, well, you know what a Cougar steering wheel looks like, but uh, that's definitely not one of those. The uh, headliner in nice, nice condition. Uh, does have some Cougars embroidered, in, embroidered into the uh, headrests. Notice uh, looking across to the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, you can see the uh, door light illuminates there. And it's the same on the driver's side. And then if you look across to the uh, like glove box area there, see it illuminating underneath the uh, dash where it lights up the Cougar and the wood grain. So all your courtesy lights are illuminating like they should when you open up the driver door. Let's look at the rear quarter. Uh, down low, uh, both in front of and behind the uh, rear wheel, there are no uh, paint issues. So we'll jump up quickly to the rear uh, window on the car. You can see through the rear window there are some speakers. We will find out on a test drive if those work. Uh, the rear window is seated nicely. Um, the chrome around the rear window is in nice shape. <clears throat> Moving down to our deck lid, uh, deck lid fits flush with the rear quarters. And then the paint on the deck lid is nice and uniform. Uh, there's no clear coat fade or any kind of uh, discoloration going on. Uh, so it's pretty nice paint on the rear of the vehicle. Uh, we'll show you in the video if the sequential turn signals work. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper is in fantastic condition, just like it was in the front. <clears throat> By the way, there is no restoration history on this car. When was it painted? We do not know. When was the motor rebuilt? We do not know. Tranny, do not know. Uh, anytime we have that type of information, we certainly share it, in, not only in our video presentations, but in our uh, photo shoots whenever we can. Car does have a full-size spare. <clears throat> Trunk mat. Um, of course, in your Cougars, underneath there's a gas tank. Somebody's covered up the gas tank with like a, um, you know, a little, like, but look at the gas tank. It looks, looks new, right? It's like a little cover over the gas tank, which isn't a bad idea. Um, and the trunk's nice and solid, too. There's some uh, Dynamat there and, uh, you know, your typical Cougar uh, trunk covers there. But uh, nice and solid. Like I said, full-size spare. The uh, tire looks to be a little dated, so if you're planning on using that spare, you might want to put a new tire on it, but there is a rim there uh, for a spare tire. Full size one too, not a, just a donut. Uh, body lines on the passenger side of the car, same as the driver's side. Uh, real nice rear quarter, uh, passenger side door, front fender. There's no waves or deviations down the side of the car. Uh, you can see down low, uh, no, no paint issues down low here. Uh, there's a little tiny, tiny bubble uh, right there on the uh, rear quarter, on the passenger side rear quarter. Uh, around your wheel opening here, um, no issues. You can see there's a little chip there in the paint, but there's no um, bubbling or cracking. Driver's door, uh, passenger's door fits just like the driver's door. You can see the, your uh, body swoop there in nice condition. Um, the, uh, all your body lines line up nicely. There's also a little tiny um, paint bubble there on the uh, passenger side door. Uh, your black pinstriping that runs down the rear quarter and the uh, passenger side door and the front fender, that's all in real nice shape. None of it's faded, none of it's peeling off, anything like that. On the front fender on the uh, passenger side, you can also see that, you know, there's no uh, paint issues going on down there. 
And then around your uh, front wheel, you see the uh, wheel opening there in nice condition. Let's look in the passenger side of the vehicle real quick. We'll show you the interior. Um, door panel, nice shape. You can see your uh, courtesy lights illuminate. Passenger side seats in nice condition, no rips, no tears. It's an automatic car. The center console's in great shape. Uh, your little console lid there looks to be in nice condition. Uh, your Ford uh, door sills there in nice condition. And lastly, let's take a look at our vinyl top here on the passenger side. Uh, again, no uh, issues, just like the driver's side was. There's no uh, bubbling or blistering um, around the drip rails, around uh, where the uh, roof meets the quarter there, uh, down your A-pillar here. The car is uh, in nice, nice shape. So, uh, we did a quick walk around presentation on our 69 Cougar. Now we are going to throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage and then after that we'll do a test drive on the car. Uh, you know, our business is really fun. We get to buy and sell a lot of cars, uh, a lot of different years, makes, models, you know, from Mercury's to Ford's to Chevrolet's to Pontiac's to uh, Dodge, Chrysler, Plymouth. Um, and there's a uh, huge desirability for these cars. Uh, whether you're an investor, a collector, you're uh, you know reliving your past, you're buying a car you've always wanted but never had the money to buy until now, whatever your circumstances are, uh, you know Kissimmee, Florida is about two hours from us here in Daytona. Uh, Mecum's about to run 5,000 cars through uh, Kissimmee, the uh, largest classic car auction in the United States. So that tells you there's definitely a desirability for these cars, right? You know what's awesome though? At Hankster's Hot Rods, you can actually come here, you can visit us, and we'll pull the car outside for you. You can look at the car real good out in the natural sunlight. We'll put the car up in the air for you on a rack. You can check out the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the tire condition, the suspension condition. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car accelerates, how it stops, how it steers, rides, handles, all that stuff. You can't do any of that at an auction no matter what auction you go to. You buy it, you look at it, you're lucky if you maybe can hear it run when it goes across the block. That's about it. I can't even start the thing. So, um, you know, definitely a cool feature here at Hankster's that you can, uh, you know, do all of that prior to purchasing, purchasing the vehicle. And that is what we encourage you to do. <clears throat> the reason I'm talking about this is because our business is fun. Uh, and we sell a lot of classic cars month after month and year after year, not only out of our Do Daytona Beach location, but out of our homies, Homer City PA store as well. Um, but, you know, they aren't new cars. You know, they all have flaws, some of which I pointed out in this video presentation of our 69 Cougar. You know, we got a couple different uh, paint imperfections throughout the vehicle. But overall, it's a real nice driver quality 1969 Mercury Cougar, which is what we're selling. It has power steering, power brakes, AC, black vinyl top, newer tires. Uh, hideaway headlights that work, sequential turn signals that work, you know, so a lot of cool stuff going on for this Cougar. Uh, but, you know, again, it's not a brand new car, so please keep that in mind when you are purchasing uh, this Cougar or any other vehicle you might be looking at in our inventory. We have a very cool operation here in Daytona Beach. We're five miles from the Speedway, a couple miles from Daytona Beach. Uh, we have 60 to 70 cars on hand to view, a, a cool little gift shop. There's a lot of awesome restaurants to eat on the water here, a lot of cool stuff to do. You can go take a tour of the Speedway if you'd like to. So um, fly in, drive down, drive up, wherever you're coming from in the uh, United States or, or in the world for that matter. We have had people visit us, you know, from other countries who who bought cars and shipped them home, believe it or not. Uh, and our sales staff's very, knowledge, very knowledgeable about these classics. We have a cool operation. We'd like to show you not only our entire business operation, but our entire inventory of classic cars here in Daytona Beach. So please, Visit us uh, when you're looking to buy one of our classic cars and check it out for yourself in person prior to purchase. Let's uh, suspend our 1969 Mercury Cougar up in the air. We'll check out the undercarriage and then it is a beautiful Friday afternoon here in Daytona Beach. We'll take it on a test drive to show you how it runs out. 
Okay, we're underneath our 1969 Mercury Cougar. Ford engine block blue oil pan. Let's check out our front seal. Nice and dry. Driver's side of the pan. Looks good right now. Not leaking right this very moment. How about the passenger side of the pan up there? Looks good. Unfortunately, you can't see much of the rear of the pan because we have cross members and suspension components and all that fun stuff in our way, starters. But it uh, looks pretty dry at this time. Uh, tranny pan also appears to be nice and dry. Uh, where else? Tail shaft seal looks dry. Uh, the frame uh, rails here are torque boxes. Looks like somebody might have put a tow hook there or a pull hook one time, ripped a little bit of the uh, torque box there. But other than that, we look to be in good shape. Uh, the floor pans in the car are fantastic. Um, don't know if they're original or replaced. Like I stated earlier, don't have any uh, restoration history on the car. However, they do look to be all one solid piece, all the way from the back to the front, both driver and passenger side. E-brakes hooked up. That works. Uh, your exhaust system comes down off of dual exhaust manifolds, dual pipes. They have like a cherry bomb set up on it. No mufflers on the car, so be aware of that. The car does have a little bit of a uh, throat sound, exhaust sound to it, but it sounds good. It doesn't sound, uh, you know, hillbilly deluxe or anything like that. It's got a good rumble to it. Um, the uh, Exhaust system comes to like simple turn downs under the real rear balance there. Uh, your uh, area where the back seat would meet your trunk pan, all nice and solid up there. You can see that there's no uh, holes or patches. Let's get a shot of our frame rails. Frame rails look good on the uh, driver's side and passenger side. Passenger side first, driver's side next. You can see the frame rail runs all the way from the uh, Bumper there up over the rear end, and then of course continues like back to where we got our lift, lift set up there. Um, let's see here, our tires. Let's see if we can get a good, uh, plenty of tread left. There's your wear bars way down in there. Uh, so the tires are from 2015, uh, BFG raised white letters. Uh, they are in good shape with no uh, need to replace them. Plenty of tread and not dry rotted up, dry rotted up or cracked. 1969 Mercury Cougar. Um, before we set it on the ground and take a test drive, let's go over a couple things. Uh, first of all, we do have a Marty report for this car, uh, so we will show you that here momentarily, and we will also have a photo of that on our website. Uh, payment options. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank, bank wire transfer, and if you're coming to visit us, we will certainly take cash. Um, financing. The collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these particular vehicles. 10% down of the purchase price. So if you're talking about a $30,000 car, you're talking about three grand out of pocket. You can put down more if you'd like to, but they're gonna require a minimum of 10%. And if uh, you know you like to spend money like it's uh, going out of style and you got a little bit of a higher debt to income ratio, they may even require 20 to 25%, but 10% is gonna be your minimum. Uh, no prepayment penalty on the loan. So if you, get approved for an eight year loan on this uh, Cougar and you pay it off in one, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing that. So that makes it nice as well. Simple interest loan, um, your payment 500 bucks a month and you pay 800 or a thousand, the extra money goes directly towards the principal. So it's a simple interest loan. Once the vehicle is paid, it goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. As I told you earlier, these are old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can stop start leaking at any given moment. Trust me, I know. Um, but we put it through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility. Make sure the wipers are working, horns working, reverse lights are working, AC's blowing cold, things like that. Once the vehicle's through inspection, the guys give us the green light, we detail it, and we call a carrier for pickup if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours time, but sometimes it takes longer if there's a holiday in there or if you're on the West Coast or if you're in a little bit more difficult destination where there's not as many trucks going to. But I promise you, once we're funded, we move quickly. Outgoing inspection, detail, dispatch, gone. 
And then of course delivery depends on how many other vehicles are on board, weather conditions, driver sleep patterns, things like that. But again, we will get you your vehicle safely and as quickly as we possibly can. We do this a few times a month, so we have this process pretty much streamlined. If you're handling your own shipping, whether you're coming to get the car yourself or sending for it uh, via your carrier, we'll let you know when the car is ready for pickup and you can send for it or come get it. Let's set our Cougar down on the ground. I'll show you guys that Marty report I was telling you about, and then we'll take it on a test drive here in Daytona Beach and show you how the car runs out. Okay, so just a quick little presentation on our Marty report here for our 69 Cougar. Um, it was not a silver car, so a light ivy yellow paint exterior, light ivy gold uh, decor inside. Uh, it was a highly optioned car. You got the black vinyl roof. Uh, it was a center console car. Uh, power front disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning. Uh, so the car was highly optioned. Now there will be a uh, photo of this Marty report on our website so that you can view it as well. Uh, but you know, now the car is silver uh, exterior with black interior and it did not start light that way. So let's uh, keep moving on on our presentation for our 1969 Mercury Cougar. Okay, inside of our 69 Cougar. Horn. Driver's side turn. We showed you the outside uh, earlier in the presentation. Passenger side turn. Got a tack in the dash. Temp we'll keep an eye on throughout the test drive. 75,807 is the miles on the uh, odometer. The title reads exempt, true miles unknown. Cannot prove a thing. Um, fuel gauge. That does function. Wipers. Okay. Radio works. You only have one speaker, but it works. Um, the AC works. Now, it's about 60 degrees in Daytona today, so we don't really need it, but I'm gonna keep it on low because we're gonna do the presentation with the windows up so we can hear better. But uh, there's your AC. Okay, the uh, lever is a little finicky. You have to get it right in the um, right spot, but when you have the lever in the right spot, you can hear the uh, AC compressor engage. It goes, you know, you, you can hear the AC compressor kicking in when you have the lever in the right spot. So, cause it's just a slider, you know, it's not a clicker. So we'll turn that down, leave that on a little low. Uh, we're idling nicely. Um, headliner's in fantastic condition in this car. Uh, dash pad's good. Uh, showed you the wipers. We showed you all the headlight doors and signals on the outside. You got your little uh, seatbelt clips here. Um, cool. Got this guy about to get taken out by an R&L truck here. <laughs> It's Friday in Daytona Beach, ladies and gentlemen. Wonder what he's bringing me. All right, let's go on a test drive, see how it runs. Okay, inside of our 69 Cougar, the uh, car's tracking nice and straight here. Nice tight steering. Look at that, almost an immediate response in the wheel. Uh, the uh, Speedo is functioning. There are no engine vibrations, training vibrations, shake, shimmies. It's got a real nice smooth ride. There's uh, no tire bounce or hop or anything like that. It's a pretty nice car. This AC is icicles. Holy cow. <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, it's cold out to begin with, but man, that AC is blowing cold. The uh, brakes work great on the car. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Got a green light, so brakes, nobody behind me. You know how nicely those brakes stop the car. Um, no pull to the left, no pull to the right. No vibration or pulsation on the brakes at all. Again, one more time, so we slow down for the turn. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna go through the yellow here. We're gonna take a low ride. Tranny shifts nicely in the car. Here we are, there's 65, okay? The uh, 
60 miles an hour. Make sure there's nobody beside me. The reason I take my hands off the wheel is to show you how you know tight the front end is. At 60 miles an hour, you know we, the steering wheel's not shaking all around. The front end's not shaking. Um, you know we don't have any uh, misalignment up front. Uh, steering wheel's nice and aligned. Uh, there's no pull to the left, pull to the right. It rides like a, a real nice car. These Cougars ride really nice. Uh, you know the base models, the XR7s, uh, late 60s stuff, middle 60s stuff. We sell quite a few Cougars. You know, 67, 8, 9. Um, they're a good, uh, good selling piece of inventory for us here at Hangsters in Daytona. Once again, the brakes, real nice in the car. Uh, looks like we might have an issue with our temp gauge. I don't have a temp reading, um, so. We did have a temp reading, but now it's not. So uh, last time I drove, the temp was reading. So maybe the thermostat hasn't opened yet. I'm not sure, but uh, nonetheless, we're not overheating, so that's a good thing. Uh, the car's got a real nice idle to it, and we will fix that, by the way. I'll take it back to the shop now and figure out what's going on. But uh, real nice idle um, in the car. Uh, ice cold AC. Uh, functioning radio, you got a uh, tack in the dash, uh, fuel gauge is working, uh, good paint on the exterior, a uh, real great color combination on the car, the black and silver, the raised white letter BFGs, chrome wheels, uh, it's a really fantastic looking, uh, looking ride. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach, hangsters.com is our website. Where you can find all the photos of our Cougar along with this uh, video presentation you're watching right at this very moment. At full retail price, our 69 Cougar includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. It covers the internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. If you have a problem with the car, don't take it to a restoration center. The car doesn't need to be restored. You just need to have the issue looked at. Any automotive shop can handle uh, looking at a motor issue or a transmission issue. You know, they're all the same. Uh, is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money, and uh, at full retail price, we have a turnkey type program. You get the uh, security of the warranty and then you get the convenience of us handling all your shipping logistics so we vest the carrier make sure they're properly licensed to carry your car uh, we make the arrangements for the pickup we make the delivery arrangements for the car we track the shipment we pay the driver when they pick the car up um, at a negotiated cost you'll do all that legwork on your own unless you have your own method of transportation be it a carrier you've used in the past or your own trailer you're more than welcome to use that and of course if you're local to us here in Daytona Beach you have some ice cold air conditioning I think this AC in this car blows colder than it does in my freaking truck it is really cold which is a great thing Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida Daytona Beach and our website is hangsters.com Check us out.